All right, guys, today we're going to talk about a few key tools to help you crush your EDC game this summer. All right, so to start off, as most people absolutely love, we're going to go over the tools and we're going to start off with knives. So for this, it's obviously very hard for me because I have so many knives to really just pick one knife to really help crush your EDC game. But I chose a few different options that I would consider kind of um, level ups, if you will. So these are knives that if you are carrying a knife lesser than this, these are a good way or a good start to really level up your EDC to get some very good value-based options. So the first one for me, I think one of the highest value knives on the list or collection, even in my own knife collection, has to be this here Rat One by Ontario Knife Company. Now I've shown this off in a few other videos, but this one obviously is not just a standard Rat One. This is the CPM S35VN version of the Rat Model 1. And I really Really like this one because I think the Rat Model 1 in particular is just a very good like EDC utility knife. It has really squared away ergos but what I love is the fact that they upgraded it to that CPM S35 VN steel which is a huge leap and bound upwards. So this is one that, you know, like if you're carrying something like a Civivi Elementum, if you're carrying something around that kind of, you know, 60 to $50 price point, even things like the Kershaw Emerson CQC6, and you want to step up, those aren't horrible, you know, knife options, but if you want something to really step up to, I think that this is a really solid option. So anyways, that is the Ontario Rat Model 1. All right, next one up and kind of stepping up into the price category, it's going to be the TRM Shadow 2. The TRM Shadow 2 is TRM's kind of official um, launch into the Axis styled crossbar lock and it is very well executed. Just like many other TRMs, this one has a super thin, very slicey blade stock on it. And of course it is sporting uh, CPM 20 CV. So overall, this one is pretty cool. It is a little bit on the smaller side, definitely smaller than the Rat Model 1, but a little bit more EDC friendly. It also comes with a really nice deep carry titanium pocket clip. Uh, the attention to detail on these guys and what I absolutely love about TRM, I've said it before, is just their absolute dedication to making everything in the U.S. out of very high quality materials. And once again, I think the uh, Shadow does a really good job at illustrating all of those points. All right, now on to the next knife and the final one. Now, to be fair, my version of this knife is a little bit bougie and a little bit over the top. So this isn't the exact knife I would recommend. Um, this is the limited edition version, but the Spartan Harzi Folder is a really good option if you're looking to step up. Once again, if you already have something in that two to $300 kind of ZT TRM, uh, you know, price range where, you know, it's a nice knife, it's just fine but if you're really looking to you know like step up to something a little bit higher quality then going with something like either the full-sized or a small version of the Spartan Harzi folder by Spartan Blades I think is a very solid option like it's really hard to go wrong with this guy it just performs very well so once again like I said mine is in Damascus uh, steel and obviously has a lot of special like etching on it so mine's probably not the best example Example of what exactly I would recommend for a sheer EDC user, but this guy is really solid and the design is simple, but yet very, very effective. So that would be my top three choices. Um, once again, each one is kind of, you know, stepping up if you are at that baseline kind of, you know, Civivi or, you know, like lower kind of $60, you know, um, things like the Spyderco Tenacious. Once again, a lot of your entry level Kershaw. Um, you know, if you're there, then stepping up to the Rat 1, if you're at that kind of Rat 1 level, you want something a little bit better, the TRM Shadow 2 is a really, really awesome blade. And then, you know, if you're already at that kind of two to $300 range, um, stepping up to a Spartan Harzi folder is a really solid choice. Of course, there are plenty of other ones like the Chris Reeve Knives, Umnum Zahn, and others that are also 
really fantastic choices. Now let's talk about multi-tools. Multi-tools is another thing that I feel like a lot of people miss out on, but this one for me really has to be the Leatherman Charge Plus. Now mine of course is in black or Earth G10 because it's technically black and brown. It's just kind of hard in this lighting to see the brown parts of this, but it is a really solid tool and uh, I personally am a fan of the G10, but uh, the Charge Plus for me, I think, is a total win for an EDC tool because for those who don't know what the Charge is, the Charge basically duplicates the Leatherman Wave, which is a very, very popular, very useful tool, but it duplicates basically the tool set of the Leatherman Wave and then just shrinks it down a little bit to make it a little bit more pocket friendly, quite literally. Mine does have a pocket clip on it, as you guys can see there, and yes i do do carry this in a pocket and it works very very well so that is the um leatherman charge plus once again these can get a little bit more expensive but in my opinion like i've had this g10 wave for the past i want to say three probably more like four years and uh it's just a really solid tool I mean, you guys can see it has plenty of battle scars on it. It's used, it's well broken in as you can see, but uh, it's just a really, really solid tool. So that is the Leatherman Charge. I think the Charge is like the pinnacle design for Leatherman. And I think that uh, if you do end up with one, once again, they're not cheap, it is true. But if you do end up with one, you will not be disappointed. All right, so we've talked about some of the bladed and just general purpose tools. Now, the last two I want to finish it out with are two other tools that are very solid. That is the flashlight and the pen. And these two for me, I think, are pretty much no-brainers, especially when it comes to the flashlight. This is the Phoenix LD30. I've had it for years, still works like a champ, and I really do love this thing like honestly it's so hard to go wrong with an ld30 because they are at least in my opinion and for my hand size you can see here that it fits very well in my hand and subsequently very well in my pocket it has a nice deep carry clip to it hopefully you guys can see there and uh, i did modify it because it also also had a portion that reversed back like that, but I removed that piece and just flattened it out a little bit. So this thing works really well for me. I really like the LD30 because it's one of those things, uh, one of those flashlights where it emits enough lumens, in my opinion, at 1600 lumens. It emits or has enough emission, uh, you know, gets bright enough, but also still retains a lot of small compact form factor to really be like what I would want in a tool. So for flashlights, I don't know, I find it very hard to not want to go with the LD30. I do have other options, but I think that that is one of the best flashlights you can go with. Lastly is pens, and I think for pens there are tons of awesome companies out there. Tactile Turn is pretty awesome. Big Idea Design is cool as well. They do make, unfortunately, a lot of their tools um, in China, so that is, you know, like take that for what it's worth. But uh, this guy right here, just like or very similarly to Tactile Turn, um, both smooth precision pens, which is what this pen is, and uh, Tactile Turn are both made in Tactile Texas in America, so that is pretty cool. Now I will say, now I will say, one of my favorite things about the Smooth Precision pens is that they are buttery freaking smooth and super super ridiculously light like these things genuinely weigh a little bit more than a plastic pen but also are titanium so like there's zero flex here and of course as the name implies it is a very very well-tuned smooth action that is kind of fidgety you can fidget and play with this thing a lot so you guys can see there so freaking smooth it is just really fun to use to write with and to carry so those are uh, my options for a pen and a flashlight um, of course like i said in this day and age there are plenty of other options out there but those are some of the most compelling in my opinion so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out